Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Shantae. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the Level of It family. If you're already a subscriber, don't forget to hit that like button. Yes, even before watching, go ahead and click that like button. Comment down below, say you love it even before you watch it. Because remember, you're a subscriber, you love me, and I love you. Don't forget to turn on that bell notification. Make sure it's nice and lit because you want to be notified when the next video is out. And if we are internet sister, don't forget to join my team. I have different tiers that you can join in order to support my cause. Everything I make on this channel, including sponsor video, goes to two charities that I'm very passionate about. And um, if you want to know more about it, here is the video for you to learn about the charity as well as the backstory of this channel and what it stands. All right, so in today's video, this is the jacket that I'm going to show you how to make. I love it. It's so beautiful. The price, not so much. And um, my life's philosophy is living within your mean. And yes, I do have the mean to buy this Gucci jacket. However, a lot of girls do not. I don't want you guys to think that you have to wear designer to be cool, to be wanted, or to be hot. No, no, no. You should wear it because you like it, design or not. This particular design um, was created for men. So I saw it on Pinterest, it was on a guy. I didn't know who designed it, I just thought it was an amazing jacket. So I did more digging and find out that Gucci created it. So I went on Gucci.com and then I wanted to order it. And so I called my rep up and she ordered it in for me. When she ordered this in and I went in store to try it, I realized it looked terrible on me. I was also pregnant at the time and I didn't love it so much of how it makes me look that I just didn't buy it in the end. Secondly, the reason why I didn't buy it even if I love it online is it's not that it looked different from the photo, it's just it didn't look good on me. And they didn't have a woman version at the time. They haven't they now have a woman version of this jacket. This jacket is a man jacket. It was in the men's section, okay? They have the female version now, so maybe I'll go try it on. I don't know yet. I don't know yet, okay? When I actually started going to the store because I called my rep to try it on, I didn't love it. It didn't look flattering on me, maybe because I was pregnant at the time, but still, it didn't look flattering on me. And so I did not want to spend that kind of money on a jack that didn't look flattering on me. So I decided that I was going to dupe it. I don't mind buying expensive stuff as long as I like it and it's worth it. I don't buy it because it's expensive. I don't buy it because it's a designer. Though, you know, you should support the designer in order for them to continue and create more for you. If you can afford the jacket at this price, buy it. Oh, and if you like the jacket and you're lazy and you don't want to make it, I actually list this jacket up for sale on my Instagram. So I will link that down below and I will link it on here if you're interested in purchasing it. Alright, so let's get started. This is the jacket that I plan on making and in order to make it, you're going to need all of these things. And the best part is it only cost me $40. Yeah, you heard me right. $40 for the whole thing. Obviously, if you're someone who wants to make an exact dupe, I've also listed down below as well as on camera a few sources that I've found that obviously is going to be a little bit more expensive, but it's going to look like the exact Gucci jacket. And talking about jacket, I got mine at TJ Maxx for $25. This is in the size extra large. The funny part is, it's really not that large on as you can see. And if you want other great jacket, here are the dupe and I have also linked that down below in the description bar. Without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to log on to Gucci.com because you know you want to see what it looks like when you're doing this. The only difference between my jacket and the actual Gucci jacket obviously is the pricing as well as those two colorful butterfly. The butterfly that I have available is something that I was DIYing for my daughters and I have actually linked down below, I was too lazy to wait for it, the link for you to purchase the butterfly that looked like the Gucci version. Once again you guys, I'm not trying to pass this off as a real Gucci jacket so I'm throwing my own flair to it. I honestly didn't like that colorful butterfly so I choose these and I was happier with these. If you are interested in these and it doesn't matter, you don't like the other colorful butterfly, I will link this link down below also but once you push this onto the jean and you iron it nice and tight, it's done. 
So let's get started on the two flower on the two side of the jacket. Now the set of patches that I linked down below from Amazon, the cheaper version, these is what that came with. Coloring wise, it's close to the real version. The only difference is that there's this trim, this black trim that you can, you know, cut off yourself with the exacto knife. Or you can buy something a little more expensive that I've also linked another link where it is the exact dupe of whatever is on the jacket, even with the butterfly. See you guys? Yeah, it's on the roses. So if that matters to you, go ahead and purchase the second one. And I also link that down below. If you're not someone who wants to fork out that much money, I did found this set of the flower by themselves. And I also link that down in the description bar. After making so many versions of this, I'm going to tell you now, um, if you choose denim that does not have the little shearling or sherpa, whatever they put on the inside, if you turn it around and you iron on the inside, this thing will heat up the glue on the opposite end of the patch is so much easier but unfortunately for me I chose the one with the shearling and like sherpa or whatever they call this like this little fake fur on the inside it does take a little bit longer for you to press in order for these patches to stick all right so moving to the top of the pocket and the shoulder area there are two flower and two little bird and by the way you guys once again there are better patches available and I've linked that down below already but I am too lazy to cut the black trim around so this can look so much better but this is how it should look you kind of want to arrange everything first and then just iron it on it actually took a good 20 minutes just to iron this on properly because of what is underneath this jacket. It took so long for this to adhesive to it and you know you want to make sure everything is on very tightly because you the last thing you want is for when you throw this into a wash and it just come loose. I do find that if you push the steamer it help warm this thing up better and it help adhesive it to the jean better. And for some odd reason, I have to constantly go back and forth because if I don't, then my machine will turn off because it's a safety function or something. And this is looking pretty good so far, you know? I kind of wish I did cut all the black trim out so it can look more like the original version. But honestly, I tried doing to some of the pieces like this butterfly and it was so much work, I kind of just gave up. And talking about it, I'm now using the B. I'm, you have to see which side's the right, which side's the left. Make sure that it's on the right area and uh, iron it on. But yeah, the only thing that this package that you purchase on Amazon does not come with is the white butterfly. And I have linked that down below for you guys. And now that the sleeve are done, let's get started on the back pieces. So take a good look at this back piece. I actually did take some time and cut around it and this is what it looks like. See, just a little bit of time. If I had an exacto knife, it would look a lot better. But then again, this is my first time doing it, so I'm pretty proud of it. I did went on ahead and cutting out you know more of the black trim on all the other pieces I did screw up a little bit on the wording so for the wording I really highly recommend buying the one without the black trim because it's really it is quite hard to cut it with a pair of scissors but after ironing everything on this is how it looks like just make sure that everything is on tight and it is done to be very honest, um, you know, the more time you spend cutting out all the black trim, the better it will look. Or if you want to spend just a little more and just buy the more expensive pieces and it will look more dupe-like. But for me, I think this is a really cute jacket. And the only thing it's missing is the Gucci logo. Alright, for the Gucci logo, I can't do much for you. What I did is I took off an actual Gucci logo on the other dresses that I own, the other like sweater that I own that literally came off in the wash so I had things extra so I just used a little bit of my time and glue it on but you know instead of gluing you can do it like Gucci and just sew the four edges with red thread they really like doing that for all their clothing right now so go ahead and do that if you really want to make it very dupe like and then add a logo on but that's about it I just used a little bit of um, fabric glue and it stayed on so thank you so much for watching. Let's try this baby on.
So I hope that was simple enough for you. And the next video uh, of the dupes will be up on Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. If you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It means so much to me. And if you are a subscriber, don't forget to push that like button, share, comment down below. Um, yeah. And uh, here are the videos that you might have missed. I will link it over here somewhere or at the end screen or something. I don't know why I'm doing this. I just am.